everybody, and welcome at long last back to a full episode of Vocalstad, the City Skyline series that is increasingly just doing The Hague. That's just kind of where we're at now. Hi folks, I'm Jeremy, and this week uh, we have an episode that is a really long time in the making. Um, I mean, a really, really, really long time. This is... um, People who have talked to me, who've reached out to me from the series, you know, there's a lot of you, you're mostly in the Discord now, but a lot of you know that I've been working on this or having people work on this for a very long time. Uh, And it's exciting to finally have it done and out here for you guys to see. Uh, This is, of course, the Peace Palace from The Hague. Um, It is, uh, this was commissioned from outside of the community. Um, so naturally it is, uh, not at all optimized for the game. <laughs> um, so don't ask me, uh, when it's going into the workshop, because quite frankly, it may never, uh, I don't have the time to, uh, optimize it for the game. And I don't really feel like dealing with people, uh, who have, you know, regular computer, like I have a very good computer so I can handle, uh, using this in the city for now. <laughs> um, but I really don't want to deal with uh, basically any comments about it whatsoever. So anyway, um, this is a really exciting episode. I really wanted to get this into the city at some point. And um, you may remember a long while back, there was an episode where I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm ever coming back. (laughs) Um, This that's about when I started this project, getting this together. And uh, so it's been a long time coming, Um, probably half a year at this point. Um, but let's, let's talk a little bit about the Peace Palace, because there's, um, a lot of generic building going on here. It's going to be a lot of gardening in this episode. Um, the Peace Palace is, it's a, um, it's a building in The Hague that was originally built by, I believe it was, uh, Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie, um, as sort of a, uh, um, like a, a global peace project. It's currently the home of the International Criminal Court, which um, you may know from other episodes, I have uh, a few (laughs) political issues with, uh, namely that they do not seem to prosecute war criminals who aren't from Africa. Um, But I wanted to get it in here partly because, um, I mean, I think it's a beautiful building. (laughs) I think it's a gorgeous uh, example of that era of architecture. Um, It's really unique. And we're just, like, severely lacking in um, major uh, landmarks uh, for Dutch cities right now. Like, since I've started this series, you know, the the workshop has come a long way for for Dutch assets, which is surprising because a lot of the creators who I've met uh, are Dutch, and um, it would seem like there would be more uh, than there is. But in any event, um, you know, we've we've come a long way in terms of housing, in terms of... uh, roads, things like that, like bridges, little little details. But the thing that we're still lacking is um, big landmark buildings. And the only ones that exist are, you know, the really great ones by, by Epic Lurker. But the problem with those is that they're all in Amsterdam and they're all the most famous buildings in Amsterdam. So when you use all of them like I have, uh, it gives people the impression that you're just doing Amsterdam. Um, which for a while I was, but, um, nowadays I feel like I'm looking less and less at it all the time. Um, mostly just doing the Hague at this point. Um, and so it was nice to get this in here just to kind of like shake things up a little bit, you know, make things look a little different. Um, the other thing to know about this episode is that it's, um, compiled over the course of several months, um, because this asset's been done for a while and it's been kind of... A struggle to get it into the game because again it is I want to say it's like 90,000 uh, vertices something insane like that it's it's way way too many for this game um, again the guy who made it isn't a city skylines creator he doesn't really understand how to optimize for the game uh, and it doesn't have an LOD when you zoom out it just looks like a like a Google Earth it just looks like complete crap um, so at some point maybe I'll I don't know, get somebody to do an L- I don't have the time to do it, so I don't think I'll ever do it. But if anybody, you know, has some free time, feels like taking out a project, um, and wants to make an LOD of this and maybe optimize it a little bit, reach out to me. Um, 
because I sure as hell I am not doing it. Um, but anyway, so we're kind of just doing a lot of gardening around the thing, just getting it set in place and making it look nice and um, important. Um, and, um, you know, what's interesting about the, the Peace Palace, so like I was saying before, is it's, it's, um, it's the home of the International Criminal Court, which in theory is supposed to prosecute war criminals and in practice does prosecute war criminals, but only, you know, from certain places. And one of the places that they don't prosecute from, uh, as an interesting little trivia tidbit, I suppose, uh, would be like a pretty lighthearted way of putting this, um, uh, Americans cannot be prosecuted at The Hague. We actually have a, um, a law in America that's uh, kind of been, I think it's just dubbed the, uh, the Hague um, Invasion Act. It has like a real name that's like some sort of like patriot defense, whatever. Um, but there's basically a law that mandates that if any uh, American is ever prosecuted for a war crime, that like we are mandated, I believe, to uh, invade the Netherlands militarily. Which you can always tell is uh, it's a it's a good sign for um, your military, you know, just in terms of accountability and, and, and all that. Um, anyways, uh, some interesting little tidbits from around uh, around the the gardens here. Um, most of this is taken directly from the real life Peace Palace, although its positioning in The Hague and its positioning here in Vogelstad are, are very different. So I kind of had to. Uh, uh, you know, just kind of like mess with things a little bit to just get it to fit. This is an interesting thing. All over the back of it, there's like a couple of these. There's little buildings that it has little air bridges uh, into, into the building. Um, so I was trying to replicate that here with this. It feels a little perverse uh, just because of like, you know, what an effort it was to get this building done and what a beauty it really is. And it kind of doesn't look great in real life and doesn't look the best here either but it felt still like i should do it uh just for for realism's sake like everything that the uh the icc does probably can't be held within this ancient building it's not actually ancient it's like from the uh i think it's from like the 1890s um so you know i added it i think foliage wise i kind of kept things pretty wild uh outside of those gardens just to kind of like make it feel a little bit less um, sterile you know because if you do like really manicured gardens and then also really manicured regular landscaping I don't know it kind of it kind of makes stuff look a little fake to me but yeah so like I was saying before this episode took a long time to get together not just because of how long it took to get the asset made and done and whatever uh, but also just because uh, my life has been a complete um uh, <laughs> Uh, a chaos event for a little while now my you know I, I have a baby now and for a while I was able to kind of keep up the schedule of the show and like get stuff out on time and, and what have you and I was really I was really feeling it for a little bit there um, but uh, in in the recent history of the last couple uh, months his sleep schedule has gotten all out of whack and so I'm kind of uh, finally getting a grip on it and finally starting to get it together, but it's, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's a hard, it's a hard job being a parent and, uh, trying to still create content for, for the internet. And so because of that whole sleep situation, a lot of this episode is kind of compiled from very short sessions where I would play at like three, four in the morning after, uh, doing like a night feeding <laughs> and um, it kind of like wake up for that and then not be able to fall back asleep, go log on, play for like an hour before I'm tired again. So a lot of these are just really, um, it's really hyper detailed for like a very short stint. This is copied and pasted, for example, for that exact reason where like I did that other side at some point and then a week later had another hour to play so I had completely forgotten what I did, so instead of trying to do it again, I just copied and pasted it right over from there. Um, this inner court is really interesting, because in real life it's like this, and uh, I was trying to replicate it, but I also didn't exactly have everything I needed for it. Um, but it's, it's interesting, I don't know how they do this, where it's like, 
just kind of like a, a rectangular platform of grass in the middle here um, with this sort of like gutter around it. I'm not sure why it's like this either, uh, but it is like this. And now we are gonna go to a quick break, and when we come back, it's a different project that's later on. Okay, we are back. And um, this is a more recent project, so I feel like I'll have a little bit more to say about it that won't feel weird uh, the way that first half did. But um, this is now connecting the Peace Palace to the zoo. As you may recall from a long time ago, I had said that this was all kind of going to be one big complex. I think in the in the lore of the city project, we're going to call this uh, the Peace Park is all of this together. Um, so this is kind of a botanical garden that's based a lot on the um, the Hortus Botanicus, I guess is what it is called in um, Amsterdam. Based a little bit on it. It's not really super close, but it's kind of, it's in the neighborhood of it. Um, but basically that is a, um, it's a little botanical garden kind of over by the um, Portuguese synagogue that I always saw and um, wanted to do something with. I always knew I wanted to do this, but um, it's kind of like a it's like a medium to small project that always felt like it was too small for an episode on its own, but too big for a mini build. I was never really sure what to do, so I just kind of like hung it on to the end of this. It's a little weird and disjointed with um, the Peace Palace project, but I think it comes out okay. But basically what we're doing here is kind of these little display areas that are like if you've never been to a botanical garden um which i can't imagine you haven't but if you haven't um they're basically like a um they're like a plant museum <laughs> i guess is the best way to call it um or like a plant zoo you know it's a place where you go to kind of like observe different types of plants and they're like usually manicured in really nice ways and like if you go in the springtime everything is blooming and it's really cool the one here in brooklyn for example um is is gorgeous right now because all the cherry blossoms are going and i'm really glad i was able to end up timing this right to get the uh, botanical garden done during the springtime um because it just feels really appropriate right now all the trees are all the trees are flowering around me um i tend to like make the um i make the city a lot around like the vibe that i'm feeling at a time that's why like certain parts of the city you'll see in the next episode for example certain parts of the city it's fall and certain parts of the city it is um it is uh, uh spring and some parts it's summer like it just is kind of based on how i'm feeling when i'm building an area and i think it's fine because it kind of looks like how it is on google earth where like you just zoom around and like different areas were photographed at different times um but anyway, what the vibe around here is basically is like similar to the zoo. It kind of was built in an older time. I think if if it was a more modern botanical garden, which we may build one on the outskirts of the city or maybe even outside the city altogether. Um, if it was a more modern one, it would probably be a bit more of just kind of like a grassy field with like a more organic sort of a look to it. Whereas here it looks very regimented and very, you know, the planters are in the bricks and then like the bricks are really taking up most of the space but um but like it 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 just f doesn't feel the most natural but it i think it looks so super cool when it's done i think it's like it's it's really nice and it, it did really well on reddit when i posted it for a reason i think because it it looks really unique and really cool but it also looks very uh recognizably like a botanical garden um but basically what i'm doing here is setting up all the planters and um you know, setting up these edges so that you can see kind of where people enter and exit on both sides of it here by the Peace Palace and over there by the zoo, you know, using the same fencing and, and little ticket kiosks that I did at the zoo to try to like make it look like this is all part of the same, you know, park project or whatever. Um, it's a little tough because I don't remember what I did over there. So it took a little while to remember that it's like the PO pieces and whatever. 
you know, moving all these trees over. But basically what's going to happen very shortly um, is I'm going to start kind of putting together the plant displays and they're going to be, you know, kind of their own distinct little sets that are that are set up for you to go look at and learn a little bit about each plant. Um, but first, I guess I got to finish um, covering all these services. I, l I love working with the PO services, but like when you're in a weird shape like this, it's very difficult to, to get them right without completely warping the, uh, the texture that you're using. So be advised of that. If you're considering getting into using them, they're always going to work better on rectangular spaces. Like you can kind of see there, it looks a little warped. It kind of works with, with this texture and that's why I abuse it so much because it's, um, it's an old looking, you know, herringbone brick. So you know, when it gets warped like that, it kind of looks just like it's maybe a little waterlogged. Um, oh, by the way, that uh, glass gazebo, um, I i love that one. It looks really great, but um, the glass is too small for the gazebo part. <laughs> and um, I spent such a long time just kind of sitting around trying to figure out how it fits into the thing. I thought it was like hanging on an interior uh, truss on the inside. It turns out it just was wrong. The creator reached out to me. Um, I think it's probably fixed by now. Anyways, um, yeah, so here we are now. We're, we're setting up the little displays. I'm just going through every plant I have that looks like it's like small enough to fit in here. And they're all just kind of their own little displays of a plant. Um, and it's actually <laughs> more tedious than you'd expect. It kind of seems like it should be the easiest part. Uh, but it's actually not. Um, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it, it's so repetitive, this work at this point. Um, but it doesn't take very long, but it really feels like it. <laughs> um, and now we are about at the point of the episode where I have to give some sort of a content warning for those with seasonal allergies. Uh, we are about to put down a lot of pollen all at once. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you may want to look away at this point. <laughs> Um, oh, I keep wanting to put those fall trees, but it doesn't make sense here. And you'll see in the next episode, I do the same thing <laughs> in the reverse order. Um, it's it's tough. I keep mistaking that. Um, I think these red ones are just red leaf trees. I don't think they um, I don't think they're seasonally any color. I think that's just what color those leaves are until the winter. But basically what you're seeing here is me trying to find different configurations of these plants. Because, I mean, ultimately I'm not trying to add a million assets to my count, you know? So I'm trying to find different ways to, to configure them so they look like they might be different. Um, oh, and here I'm using different trees for each of these planters. It's something I don't do anywhere else, um, really. But um, trying to add different trees so that you can kind of get the idea that maybe, like, the trees are part of the display too. And now this is something I want to try to explore more in a different way. It doesn't really work the best here, uh, but I think it could work really well in the future. Uh, but basically trying to draw pictures with uh, the flowers. Um, there is a, there's like a famous tulip garden. I don't, I'm spacing on the name of it now, but there is a famous tulip garden that does stuff like this that I kind of stole this idea from. There's a really famous one of like a uh, portrait of Van Gogh. That was my initial idea to do here, but uh, I, I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready. You know, I thought I could, I thought I could pull it off. Couldn't do it. But so here we have sort of like a display of three windmills. Um, <laughs> and then over here, kind of a display of like a, a typical Vogelstad uh, row of houses just trying to give it sort of like some sort of a theme around maybe the city uh, maybe a bit of national pride generally not the best I don't think um, but it it's a cool idea and I want to come back to it another time when I'm like a little more prepared I guess uh, maybe if I do that bigger more modern botanical garden that's where I'll do it um and then now just kind of doing some final detailing around um and uh, that's it for the episode, folks. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This was a rough commentary for me. I don't know if it was for you, but I hope you had a great time. Follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Thunder. Uh, join us in the Discord. The link's in the description below. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>